Greetings YouTube and this is Efren with eQE3 Enterprises coming at you with another wonderful little unboxing slash review video. Today I've got the bomb mini speaker from Hype from Hype Audio or Hype Electronics, whatever you want to call them. It's a little mini bomb uh, self-powered USB rechargeable mini re mini speaker. Bomb speaker is actually pretty cool. It's a little bomb face. See? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. See the little bomb face. He's got to stick his tongue out and give it a wink. <laughs> so let's get the unboxing going here. I found this at the, if you can tell, I found this at the dollar, at the family dollar for five bucks. I figure it's a heck of a deal for a cute little speaker. That look kind of neat sitting on the desk, all the other little goodies I have there. <sighs> Oopsie, tore it. <laughs> now here we go. Oops. Nothing else in the box. Here it's got the uh, USB cable for charging. It's an interesting little thing to plug into the thing. It's a tiny little... My goodness, I don't know if you can see that. It's tiny. And of course a little bomb itself. Where is it? There we go. That's cool. Let's get this out of here. Come on. There's no instructions in there, I just noticed, but I did some research online. So There's the connector for the, the audio to plug into whatever device you have. Standard 3.5 millimeter audio plug. Works on just about all smartphones nowadays. Let me attach to the... Oh. Jeez. How do I get? Oh, that's the key. The keychain thing is caught. Okay, it does have a little keychain thing. Take it with you. Yeah. Get to the holder. I gotta tear the package. I gotta tear the package. The hole's too small. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here's a little bomb. You can see that, and the, that's all it came with. There's no uh, instructions or anything. Let's take a look at the bottom of this. Some schmegma on the thing here. Yeah, the cord's not very long, if you can tell. <laughs> but that's okay. See, there's a DCN thing right there. Uh, if you can see that, it's awfully tiny. Right there, and there's an on and off switch. Let's see if it's got any charge to it. Oh, it does. The blue light shit that's on. That button was a little hard. There's a speaker in the back there. That's where the speaker is right back here. So that's kind of a unique little goodie. Oops. Now, from what I understand, I did a little research, and it says you should charge it from. Some people say hour and a half. Other people say two to three hours. So if you're uncomfortable somewhere in your couple hours, and you're, you should get about at full volume. I'd say you should get about two hours of use out of it. At you know half volume or lower volume, you should get about three or four, according to my research. So let's see what this little baby sounds like. Plug it into my phone here and I'll... First of all... that you hear my... My, uh... Startup music on one of my videos, since that's, I don't have rights to rebroadcast anything else at a good volume level here. Just kidding. Okay. That was just my phone speaker, and it's not real good. It's a, a droid razor. Plug that baby in. And I'm guessing there's no volume control on this little bomb thing here, so you, the volume of your phone determines the volume of the speaker. So let's see what that sounds like. Uh-oh. Doesn't work. Oh. Dumb butt. Help to... Okay, I forgot to turn the speaker on. That's why I didn't seem like it was working. Ha! Dummy. There, turn it on. As it comes with a partial charge, I see. Let's try that again. Take two. <laughs> Whoopsie. Killed that audio test. I'm going to try to turn it up. Here, full volume. Let's try this again. Let it come back up. Greetings, YouTube fans. This is Effort with eKiwi3 Enterprise coming at you with the second of, the third, second of three videos. We start off a small business roundup. Yeah, there is quite a Second difference. Video, another great company. 
another great product that would be beneficial to small businesses and startups. Help take cut your uh, employees. You can't tell so the difference here. Http colon slash Alrighty. Oops. I think it works pretty well, I see. There's some videos, sometimes uh, Chris Perillo's videos are, are really low for some reason. I don't know if it's just the audio coming through YouTube or what it is, but it's good to have that. You know, I, I usually listen to it with headphones, but if I'm doing something moving around a lot, I don't want to have a headphone cord hanging off of me, so. This little thing will do the trick. There's really good sound for the price. I'm surprised. And couldn't find any website online for the company. It's called Hype. And, uh, and all that. So, But uh, like I said, some people have had trial and error with it. And that's, the like I mentioned before, the, the charging times. Uh, supposedly the light comes on when you plug it in to charge. So possibly it might possibly go off when it's done charging. I don't know. I haven't. I think one or two people online said it never goes off. Of course, they might not have left it in long enough either. So, hey, I'll do some further tests and then I'll add to I'll add to the description of this video and what I find. But yeah, that's the general consensus online. So yeah, this is a pretty decent little speaker for the money. It looked kind of cute sitting on the desk. I mean, if it happens to die, you got something cute to sit on the desk. It looks like a bomb. Yeah. Just light the fuse. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty impressed with this. Of course, I wasn't listening to any kind of music, but I don't have rights to rebroadcast music, so I really can't. So, But I will test it with music later. It sounds that much better with just me talking. That sounds pretty good with music. You can put your phone off to one side, and I mean, it's not going to blow your ears out. should rattle the windows loud, but it's loud enough, and since self-power doesn't suck the battery out of your phone either. My battery and my phone's getting a little old, so. Anyway, that's my little review, unboxing slash review. Hope you appreciated it. Apparently they sell these at Walmart and Amazon, but I got this for five bucks. I think Amazon wanted seven or eight for it. This is like the last one at the dollar store that tells you how popular it was. I saw them one day. They had a fresh box and out a few days later they're sold out. So anyway, Family Dollar seems to be the cheaper place to get it. I mean, Walmart might have it a little bit cheaper now. Who knows? But according to my research online, the Family Dollar where I got is a little bit cheaper. So yeah, I'm really impressed with it. <clears throat> Enjoy using. We'll see how long it lasts too. I could add to the text to see if it dies in a short period, but. I can't imagine. I mean, I guess I mean, you can always have some <clears throat> bad products from the company. See, it's made in China. You know, I can't expect too much from the workmanship, but I'm sure after you know, after they make them for a while, they might find uh, issues and stuff that that uh. Oops. Let's notice something. No, wait a second. No. Never mind. There's a little rubber piece of a uh, sticky rubber that was stuck in the box. I thought it went that apparently was attached down here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. Right here. I don't. I can't imagine it's extremely necessary to have that there. Yeah, it might have been just to keep it from rattling in the box too. But I guess you could put a little piece of foam if you don't want it sliding around. But it's not like you're going to be dragging it around with you. So not a huge deal. So anyway, other than that, that's my little unboxing and review. Hope you appreciated it. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on these videos and watching more of my videos. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Remember, I accept all constructive criticism, but I don't acknowledge trolls, unless you're a helpful troll. Thank you.